Miss Plum is no longer head of the Southwark Blighters, and they go into this fight leaderless. Rooks have good odds. This borough belongs to us! Immediately, even before the fucking thing starts, everyone just runs up. I don't even have to do anything. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are Jacob and Evie Fry. And as of this moment, you all work for us. All right. What do I need left? That. A bottle there. Two chests, a bottle, and the illustration. That's all that's left. And there's a dreadful crimes mission there that I'll do. And then I guess the next video probably is when we'll start the Ned Weiner uh, associate activities. Did I actually tag something? Yes, I did. <clears throat> Couldn't see it because it was behind those icons, the main mission icons. Thinking instead of running all the way around, I might as well just cross across, cut across the tracks. Now I'm that much closer. All right. Skill point. Intimidation. Kidnapped enemies will no longer try to escape. Beer bottles in this area. Get chest on the next level up. chest right over there well, your off. oh <laughs> seems like this one is underground
Wasn't sure if maybe there was a uh, <clears throat> sewer entrance along that area. will do. <laughs> so all the chests in this area right on. Yeah, let's head over to this. Dreadful crimes, death stalks the colonel. Determine which bullet struck and killed the former colonel. Oh boy. There you are. This could be interesting. There's no shortage of firearms in this neighborhood. I suspect the solution will turn on geometry, timing, and human nature. There may be a penny dreadful in it. Look into it, won't you? Alright. Guess we're heading to the munitions factory. Just down the road here. Road closed, eh? Don't worry, I'm an official inspector at this point. What do we got here? Prescott's body. Lewis Prescott, killed by a single bullet that entered his chest, passing, sorry, passed directly through his heart and exited from his back. High precision, 12 o'clock. Blood splatters behind him. So yeah, he would have had to been... The shooter would have had to been somewhere over there, you would imagine. Spread in a way that indicates the direction of the bullet. Dynamite crates. Empty munitions crates clearly marked Prescott Munitions number 408. I thought they were trying to tell me that someone stood on that. I'm like, how did he not see someone stand right there? Okay, I thought that was a thing over there. <clears throat> Banner. Banner for the 11th Regiment of Footmarked Gold Coast Ashanti Campaign. I should go back and ask about this. Feather. Single white feather. I should return and find out about this. Clock. There's a hexagon-shaped bullet lodged exactly below the numeral 12. The clock is still running. I should return and find out about this. Mm. It said high precision, though. I still think that like up there would be higher precision. Precision. A hole made by a hexagonal bullet. The hole is bloody. Jonas has said, "How do you know Prescott?" It was a good. Good man, very honorable. I'm proud to have served under Colonel Prescott in the 11th Foot Gold Coast, Africa. 
So what about this banner then? Can you tell me more? Press Scott put that up in memory of the time he led a sortie across the Pearl River to outflank Ashanti warriors. Things turned out badly that day. Horrific. We lost several of our comrades. Prescott wanted us to remember them. What do you know about the shooting? I was on my way here. Heard two shots I did, right at the stroke of noon. And this clock? Bullet all, all in the clock. That's a new one. It could have already been there when I arrived at noon. Or maybe it was the second shot I had. It would have had to have been the second shot. I don't know why the game's stuttering like that, by the way. Foreman veteran knew our victim. Which one hit victim? It was definitely that one up there. Who are you? Frederick Aberline. You know anything about the shooting? From what? I can gather Prescott was shot almost exactly at 12 o'clock noon. What about the factory? When Colonel Prescott retired from the army, he used his connections and started this munitions factory. He wanted the men that served with him to have work when they left the army. Makes sense. Can you tell me about the clock? Apparently they put the clock there while doing some repairs. It still runs, I notice. And what about our suspect? The young lads across the street were fooling with a pistol they'd found. A bullet must have gone astray through the wooden fence. Hit Mr. Prescott smack in the chest. Bloody unlucky for all concerned. What the hell is this guy doing? He's a policeman. Beer. A large puddle of beer. Other puddles continue along the street. What does that say? This way. Puddle of spoiled beer. wonder where this leads. There was a barrel there somewhere that got shot. Driver of the delivery cart, Bennett. Do you know Prescott? Saw him each morning as I drove by. Seemed like a good sort. What about this beer? We lost an entire barrel of beer, damn it. I heard two loud bangs, but thought nothing of it. Later, I found a bullet hole in a barrel. Imagine that, a bullet hole. My lad Samuel might know more. He's around back tossing trash in the river. Tossing trash in the river. Who is Samuel? The poor lad. Fell on my doorstep a few years ago. He's in a bad way. Has some sort of malady. Rides in the back while I make deliveries. Hard worker. Very determined. Alright. <clears throat> Empty barrel. This is a round... Sorry, there is a round hole through one of the panels. Inside is a spent bullet. The caliber of the bullet matches the orphan's revolver. Not that we would have knew that yet, but... Now we do. Barrel Depot, backpack. The flap bears the insignia of the 11th Regiment of Foot. Goose. A partially plucked dead white goose. I did find a white feather at the crime scene. And plus that bullet's circular. We're looking for hexagonal. Medicine. Treatment for trypanosomiasis. A disease transmitted by testes flies in Africa. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. Is Samuel the delivery man? What do you know about Prescott? I just drop off beer. Don't pay much attention to people along the way. 
Okay, what do you know about the beer then? There was an hole in a barrel. I've got no explanation for that. Do you have a disease? That's for some sickness I picked up a while ago. Can't remember the name of it. Hmm. Let's head back to that courtyard. Bullet hole. Indicates that the bullet exited the courtyard. Shoot her from here. What the hell is this thing? Courtyard target. Uh, handmade by the orphans. It's a target. Particular bullet hole. It couldn't have been the orphans if they were shooting at this. Even if they had him like a shot that didn't connect. <coughs> Mark, the place the children stood were firing at the target. Yeah, but I mean. <coughs> What kind of bullet hole did he have in him? <clears throat> There's no impact there because it would have hit the barrel that was sitting there. And thus... Because you know, the bullet's still in the barrel. Plus it was... We know that they didn't have the right revolver or the right caliber anyways. This one has to be the bullet that hit him. Because there's blood on the, uh, the bench back there. <clears throat> what is this? Impact mark. Appears a small heavy object may have fallen here. Perhaps a revolver. Earl, tell me about your shooting. We stood right there on a the mark and shot the target. I went to shoot, but there was a loud bang. I was surprised and missed the target completely. It wasn't me who killed the man. I'm no murderer. Tell me about your gun. We found a revolver underneath <coughs> the lumber yard window. Don't know where it came from. Hmm. It's Earl the orphan. Shop owner. Tell me about Prescott. Him and me like to insult each other. I was a lieutenant under his command in Africa. I love the army. No one questions you when you wear a uniform. Anyways, every morning when he arrived, we'd call out and joke with each other. Tell me about the military. Uh, yeah. Well, Prescott led a flanking sortie that went wrong. Lots of casualties. Some men called the colonel a coward, but it were really just bad luck. Anyway, he resigned. To make amends, he offered work at his factory whenever one of us left the army. This is from the shop, right? Yeah. Can I get into the other area though? Okay, let me go up another 
Another level. Attic. Ooh, what do we have here? Whitworth rifle, the first sniper rifle, has an astonishing accuracy. This particular one smells as though it's been fired within the past few hours. Also, regiment, regimental insignia is carved into the stock. Left with the regiment of foot, Gold Coast. I should return and find out about this. Has a hexagonal barrel, which would max, max, match a bunch of different things. Tell me about the attic. I admit it. I sell stolen rifles and pistols. All very hush hush. Black market. Hmm. So, what do you know about the shooting then? I made that shot. Early this morning, Prescott challenged me to plug the 12 from my shot. I missed just slow. No one witnessed it. It was too early in the morning. What about Whitworth? I brought that gun back from Africa. I was a sniper fighting the Ashanti. I used that gun this morning for Prescott's challenge. It's the only Whitworth we have. I'd never sell it. Here's the issue with his story. Caught a bullet through the chest. It came from that direction. It's a hexagon. Bullet impact that hit here was a hexagon. It was also bloodied. I should reinterrogate a suspect. <laughs> Let me head down to the barrel depot for just a second. Because I don't know why he would say I have to reinterrogate a suspect. The only thing that doesn't make sense is the, uh, I don't know, they have nothing. The feather. Like, why is the feather there? He was from, let me open up the, uh, the actual thing here. Killed by a single bullet that entered his chest, passed directly through his heart, and exited from the back. Eleventh Regiment of Foot marked Gold Coast Shanty Campaign. That was the banner he had. Hexagon-shaped bullet lodge exactly below the twelve, and in the um, the bench that we seen. Gold Coast.
has to be Curtis. Because Sam doesn't have any motive. Nor does Bennett. Earl, definitely not. We already know it's not Earl. Yeah, it has to be Curtis. I wanted to, like, 100% make sure, but there's no way it can't be. You, sir. Me? I couldn't have shot him from the attic at that angle. I only shot a clock. What do you mean? The game told me I had everything to solve. Do I not have everything to solve? Okay, so someone obviously came in here, stole his shit. Earl never seen anything. I'm missing something very important here, but I don't know what it is. Okay, so then obviously it's Sam because he lied about knowing There's the backpack at the barrel depot with the 11th regiment of foot. He has medicine to treat the disease he got in Africa, which is where they were. He didn't admit to knowing Prescott at all. So I guess he's resentful. No. We were bound to get one wrong at one point or another. It was just the... Uh, there's really not a whole lot to go off here. This would have been a bigger... A bigger guess to say it was Sam. His goddamn cowardice in Africa got me best friends killed. He should have faced a firing squad. Very good sleuthing on your part. It's a miracle anyone survived what with all those bullets whizzing about. Death stalks the colonel. An army sharpshooter watches his friend die in a bungled military maneuver and vows revenge. Slowed by a top tropical disease contracted on the Gold Coast, Private Samuel Fry, that's hilarious, uh, spent years planning his vengeance on Louis Prescott, the colonel whose cowardice meant death for his companions. He taunted Prescott with the symbolic white feather, and then at the stroke of noon, took his final revenge. Many bullets flew that day. A bullet from the shop attic lodged in Prescott's factory clock. 
A bullet from the revolver found by some children lodged in a passing beer cart, and the bullet fired by Samuel from the back of the cart struck that from the back of that cart struck Prescott directly in the heart. Henry Raymond. I feel like that was a stretch. It, it makes sense once you get the full thing pieced together, but how are we supposed to, like, yeah, he has the backpack there, but it could have very well been planted. He had no motive that we knew about. But. Tis what it is. Let's catch the train. And then call it a video. I think this will actually be it. Well, for now, anyways. Probably for the day. I don't know. I've recorded so much today. A letter. For me. 7150. Did I get all the gamma upgrades I wanted? No, I didn't. Rook Enforcers. Your gang now includes the Enforcer Archetype. Enforcers use long-range weapons. Yeah, that's pretty much everything I'm going to get for right now anyways. Eventually I'll go for Mad Science once I actually figure out what that is. That's probably the Hallucinogenic Darts, if I had to guess. Definitely want that stuff when I can. But I think I'll just save the money now at this point. Night blue, not bad. Long Lord Pearson's cane sword. Uh crafting? Oh yeah, that's right, we got a crafting upgrade. Might as well get this smoke bomb upgrade two. So that's the best smoke bombs we can have now. Yeah, I forgot we got that to tell you the truth. But yeah, no, we're doing pretty well. We're at, what, 28% total sync. Haven't made any uh, more progress um, with the story yet, but that'll come in due time anyways. Anyways, I'm going to end it here, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did leave a like and say, comment down below, subscribe, share. So I'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye.